what's up everybody this is dds and today i am bringing you guys the video that you all have been asking for for so long well i guess i shouldn't say all of you i've had a lot of people asking me about how they can save their vst libraries on an external hard drive or maybe their native instruments expansions on external hard drives so that's what this video is going to be about it's a straight up tutorial that's why you don't see me right now because it's going to be all done off of my computer so today i have a studio session with someone you know later on this evening so i need to make sure that i have some new sounds and everything on my computer make sure everything is up to date so first things first i i'm going to open up native access which i already have opened up but you guys go to native access if you are using native instruments or if you are using any third party vst like let's say you want to install omnisphere the process will be the same you just have to open up the installer for it well, actually the process won't be the same. I'll get into that in a second. But as you see, I rarely update this computer. Like <laughs> I have 61 things that's not installed. I have 23 things that needs updates. And that's because this isn't really my main computer like that. So I have tons and tons of things here. Like this one library right here is 5.32 gigs. This one is nine gigs and like um aquarius earth is the gig itself so i'm gonna need a whole lot of space like session strings pro 2 34.28 gigs so yeah it's gonna it's gonna need a lot of space now let me show y'all what's going on on this actual computer so you can see that there really isn't enough space for me installing this stuff so as you see right here it says i only have 21 gigs left but on my external hard drive I have over one terabyte which should be enough for what I want to do today so first things first you want to go to the native access and I'm doing this on my Mac as you can see Windows I'm not sure how you get to the preferences there because I haven't used native access there but you just go to preferences file locations the download locations this is important because if you have a download to your main computer you don't have enough space it won't go like if I want to download session strings and it's 32 gigs I only have 20 gigs left it's not going to work at all so you want to change your download location so you hit browse and this is where it goes my external hard drive right there is going to download there automatically before it even installs so that's perfect the application location is like where do you want the actual VST to go not the library not the sounds none of that stuff just the actual application and it's best to store that on your computer at least that's how it's been in my experience that's what i always do if it's omnisphere nexus keyscape anything from native instruments i put the application on the actual hard drive of the computer itself and have everything else separated onto the external and that's just because i feel like it will have issues some of the vsts won't even allow you to install the actual vst off of the main computer so i feel like you have issues with that might run slow all that wonderful stuff content locations kind of self-explanatory your library your sounds all of that as you see right here i have mine's going to my external hard drive and you just hit save so first things first i want to start installing i'm going to install aquarius earth that's my new favorite um native instruments expansion i'll say machine expansion i gotta get out the habit of that because these do work outside of machine so i'm just gonna go ahead and hit install it should start downloading and uh let me just grab some more of these expansions because it's really been a while since i even added stuff on here let me pick a big one just to show you guys that it will still install so all this stuff should install rather quickly but anyway as you even see here the updates do take up some space as well i'm just going to go ahead and hit update all for this because i really do want to update i'm just looking at the sizes to see if it will be yeah it's going to be a large amount of space taken up so i'm just going to hit update all and it should update with no problem or at least like prepare to update so that's pretty much it like it's real straight to the point you just go to your preferences and you just change the locations around to your external hard drive now if you're somebody that wants to know which external hard drive i use i will put a link to that in the description below and you guys could check that out there 
And if you want it, get it. If you don't want it, you know, don't get it. But the process is the same for all of the other installers that are out there. So if you are using, um, let me just think of Omnisphere. If you want to install Omnisphere, you're going to go to the installer, open up the installer. Then it's going to go through like, okay, where do you want to? It's going to literally ask you, where do you want to? Uh, excuse me. Where do you want to install the contents for this? And then you just change the location to wherever you want it. I should. I don't know if I have any Omnisphere updates right now, but if I did, I would go through and open it and show you guys how to do it. But actually, let me check it out and see if I have any updates. Okay, so as you see here, I have just downloaded some updates for Omnisphere. This is usually how your installers look, whether it's Omnisphere or something else. You continue, let you know how much space it'll take up. And usually right here where it says destination select, you will be able to pick where your um, library and content wants to go. I'm not able to do that because I have already installed it and this is just an update. So that's not really going to work for me. So pretty much that's what you need to pay attention for when you're installing new libraries or whatever new BSTs when you're not using an installer such as native access or the output hub for outputs on um, contact libraries. So that's pretty much it. Make sure you pay attention to this. Hopefully this video was helpful. A lot of people have been asking me for this and I'm glad that I was able to make this video for you all. Hopefully this is helpful and helps you along your way because some people say that they can't see any videos or articles on how to install the stuff like that on Google. So hopefully you all enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want the hard drive I used, you can check it out in the description below. Other than that, hopefully you all have a wonderful day. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this will get y'all off of me about making this video saying y'all been waiting forever. I apologize, but it's here now. So um, hopefully it's everything you've been waiting on because I just haven't had any other VSTs installed like I try to do it this way. But since I don't have anything new to install, it's not going to let me go to the install locations. But I appreciate y'all. Hopefully I hope you all have a wonderful day. Happy holidays to y'all if y'all watching this during that time. Other than that, I'm out. Enjoy. Have a good day.